The Ministry of Environment, Climate Action and Constituency Empowerment has signed a Memorandum of Understanding, MOU, with the Ministry of Agriculture, Marine Resources and Cooperatives in connection to the use of lands on the Royal Bastyr Valley National Park, more commonly referred to as the Aquifer, in order to host the Ministry of Agriculture's annual Open Day. The signing took place on Thursday, March 16th, among Dr. Joel Clark, Minister of Environment et al., and Samuel Duggins, Minister of Agriculture et al., and permanent secretaries in both ministries, Sharon Rattan and Miguel Fleming, at the Secretariat of the Minister responsible for Environment and Climate Action. Minister of Environment Dr. Joel Clark said the ministry has a mandate to protect the Royal Bastyr Valley National Park, and part of that is instituting an MOU. She said, quote, Part of that is establishing its use and maintaining the integrity and protecting the biodiversity and water reserves at the park. Hence, any use should rightfully be governed by a MOU which outlines what can and cannot be done in the Royal Bastyr Valley, even if it is the same government or related ministry. End quote. Primarily, the MOU ensures that there must be adequate garbage receptacles in addition to not allowing waste fertilizers, wastewater or sewage to be leaked into the aquifer. Meanwhile, permanent secretary in the Ministry of, en of en Ministry of Environment, Sharon Rattan, said the site has been deemed critical to the welfare of the people of St. Kitts and Nevis. Therefore, the water source has to be protected. She said, the Ministry of Environment has recognized the value of the lands of the National Park and has sought to develop these lands in a manner that provides for sustainable use of them without harming the aquifer. The 2023 Agriculture Open Day will be held from April 27th to the 28th while the MOU is effective until the 30th of April 2023. I'm Andre Huey for SKN Newsline.